Gab. This is the show where we gab with you about things happening globally in the world. I'm your host, Katerina Kazayas. I want to make you aware of something uh, that happened earlier this week. 43 more people died. Two boats capsizing en route from Syria into Europe. Uh, this brings the total count, guys, to 4,000 people that have lost their lives. This is not okay. And I don't want to sit here and preach to you about the terrors of war and, and why we should be doing more as a global community. I think we should be doing a lot more as a global community. What I did want to bring your attention to, though, is the importance of recognizing that the people that are fleeing their homes, their country, their, their land, their language, are doing so because they're in desperate, desperate need. Okay, they're not doing it because they're bored. They're doing it because they need to flee. There's a war happening on their heads and they're trying to make their way to another land. Europe right now is being inundated. They have absorbed four million refugees in the past five years. Okay, four million people. They are imploring the rest of the world to try and do something. They've asked Canada and the US and Australia to try and take some of these people to help place them. The US said it would take 16,000 people. Okay, a country of 320 million says it'll take 16,000. And what's worse, better, what, what's more, 31 governors piped up and said, uh-uh, we don't want them, not in, our, not, not, not in our backyard. 31 governors? This is a country, the U.S. is a country that was built on people coming to this land to make it a better place, to make a better life for themselves. And 31 governors are saying not in this backyard. I want to contrast that for a minute to the way Canada is dealing with things. Canada has agreed to take 25,000 migrants. Now that's not enough, in my opinion, but it's better than 16. The thing is, Canada is dealing with it a little bit differently. The Canadian mindset. When the first planes arrived in January with the migrants, the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, went down to the airport he literally got onto the tarmac and started welcoming people. And he said to them, welcome to Canada, welcome to your new home. We have to remember that the term migrant is not synonymous with terrorist. A migrant is someone that is fleeing terrorism, okay? We have to do something as a global community to be compassionate, to increase our compassion for people that have literally put their lives at risk with nothing more than the clothes on their back. And I know this might sound hoo-hoo, but it's important stuff. The UN is telling us that they are severely underfunded. If there's anything you can do to raise a little bit of money, I know I'm sitting here with my cushy coffee and my cushy house. Uh, if you can forego Starbucks for two days and amass eight bucks, uh, you can help, you can send it uh, via the UN, which is obviously a very reputable, reputable agency, unhcr.com. That's the UN uh, Refugee Agency website, unhcr.com. I would uh, encourage you to, to try and do a little bit. I know Syria's all over there and there's, uh, you know, stuff going on, but every little bit will help. So I wanted to bring this to your attention today. Before we leave, I did want to remind you that we do Gab daily. Uh, so do hit us up at globalgab.com. That's global-gab.com where uh, we do... Tweet and gab daily about international top trending headlines. For now, though, I'm your host, Katerina Kazayas. I'll be back with you next week. For now, thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye-bye.